In Hastings Museum, you will find the Durber Hall. Now, the Durber Hall is a beautiful hall over two floors, covered in the most beautiful Indian carvings. Downstairs, the walls are covered in carvings of plants, of whirling branches and swirling leaves and flowers. And upstairs, the carvings are of animals and people. And if you look closely, you'll see all kinds of animals. There's deer, there's horses, there's monkeys. And last time I was there, I noticed an elephant and a dog. And it made me think of the story of the elephant and the dog from India. And I've put it to music. It's got a chorus you can join in with that just goes. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 scraps to eat and no warm place to stay he wandered by the palace walls where the smells were sweet and rich he found the great menagerie where the king's grand elephant lived now the elephant was rich and but his days were long and sad So Elephant invited the stray dog in And shared everything he had Now the dog liked to swing on the elephant's trunk When twilight filled the sky While the coloured wind moved in the trees and sang this lullaby But the keeper sold the dog to a rich man Though he wasn't his to sell So the elephant's heart was broken The tears rolled down his eyes He refused to eat, he refused to move He looked like he would die saw this and realized his mistake he told the king he bowed his head and waited for his fate but the wise king forgave him and sent his soldiers out to search the land for the lonely dog Through the far fields and towns Singing da 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 But at last the dog was found 
just as lonely as the elephant in the kingdoms furthest down. But when the dog was returned, it seemed they had been too long. The elephant was completely still. It seemed his life was gone. But the dog lay close to the elephant's head. An elephant felt his warmth. They both slowly filled with life. It was like they were reborn Singing So that was the story of the elephant and the dog, which is an old Indian story. Now I'd like you to get creative. Right, so if you've been to Hastings Museum, you've probably seen this. It's a panel in the Durba Hall, a beautifully carved, patterned panel in the Durba Hall. And you can see it's covered in patterns. It's a patterned panel. So today we're going to play with making a patterned panel. Um, but we're going to do it in a different way to the uh, amazing craftsman who made the Derba Hall. We're going to use everyday objects and draw around them to experiment and play with pattern. Here goes.